Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lemur and this is my first ever YouTube video. Now, for anyone that might not really know who I am, uh, I'm a streamer over on Twitch and I kind of just wanted to try my hand at YouTube, so uh, here we are. I mainly play a lot of Destiny 2, but since we all know that D2's been in kind of a rough spot lately, I've actually been playing a lot of Valorant and other games and stuff so far, and uh, yeah, I kind of love it. So that's a little about me, and if you want to find out more about me, you can catch me streaming every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over at twitch.tv slash lemur. Um, I do stream during the week, but my whole schedule, honestly, is kind of up in the air right now since I still have a bunch of projects and final exams and all that kind of stuff to finish up from the rest of the semester. But as soon as all of that is squared away, I'll probably update my schedule to start streaming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that sounds like something you'd want to check out, then be sure to head over to my Twitch channel and drop a follow. And one final note, guys, if you do enjoy this video and want to watch more, and please don't be afraid to subscribe and leave a like down below. I can assure you, it means the world to me. Now, let's get into it. All right, so I get a ton of people asking me all the time in my chat and on Discord and a bunch of other stuff saying, hey, do you use Kovacs? And if you do, what do you actually do in it? What is it? And should I get it? Does it actually work? So I thought I'd make a video. And if you don't know what Kovacs is, well, you've probably seen a bunch of random people playing it on your friends list all the time and that kind of stuff. But Basically, Kovacs is just a name trainer, and it really does work. Um, I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it or not, but I'm really glad I got it. It's about 10 bucks on the Steam store, and okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell would I spend $10 on some random-ass game when I could just play the game I already bought and spend that extra $10 on some sexy-ass Valorant skins? And honestly... You're not wrong. I mean, god damn, guys. Look at this fucking thing. It is gorgeous. I think the only thing more sexy than the Reaver Operator is the Beloved Ornament. Which, might I add, 254 season pass ranks later, I still don't fucking have. I mean, it's honestly making me go insane. I have done 254 goddamn ranks of the season pass. How have I not gotten this ornament yet? Afternoon, son. Hello, brothers. Son, we're looking for the maniac. Have you seen this man? Oh, it's the maniac! So, if you just want to play the absolute hell out of whatever game you're playing, that totally works. That's totally fine. But in my personal experience, I think if you really want to hit that next level, Kovacs is definitely the way to go. I mean, I was like that too, you know, I played the absolute hell out of Destiny, and I was a good player, don't get me wrong, but I think the second I started using Kovacs, I definitely noticed a difference. I started hitting those crazy snipes, like every time I was alive, and I was like, what the hell's going on? I was like, damn, this thing must actually work, because you don't even realize it, because it just forms a lot of muscle memory in your hand, and you, don't, you just don't even think about it. So what I'm going to be showing you today are the three exercises that I've pretty much done the entire time I've been in Kovacs. It's what I still do every time I load it up. Um, I think it'll work for you, but if it doesn't, that's totally fine. You know, there are thousands of other exercises on there that you can just scroll through and find. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, you got to get your sensitivity set so that whenever you play Kovacs, it feels exactly like you're playing the game of your choice. In order to do this, you got to go into settings and change the sensitivity. Basically, there's a whole list of games, and you just put in whatever sensitivity you use on that game, and if you don't see it there, then you can click on the link in the description. It'll take you to a sensitivity calculator, where it literally has every first-person shooter I've ever seen. Pick it from the drop-down menu, and then convert it to one of those that you see in Kovacs. Alright, so when you first load up Kovacs, you're going to see this weird-ass, like, professor robot dude on the left-hand side, and it's going to say trainer. And like a bunch of other weird stuff and like a bunch of levels just don't even worry about that we're gonna go straight to the sandbox just don't ever do this area go to the sandbox and on the left you're gonna see all the levels that were made specifically by other users that you can train on the one that we're gonna be looking at is called tile frenzy this is the first one that I want to show off um, I feel like it's helped me a lot it's one of the highest rated ones up there so it should be pretty high on the list for you if you don't see it you might have to search for it Basically, all you're going to want to do is find Tile Frenzy on the list, double click it, that should start downloading your computer, and then once it's good to go, you just click play challenge and then play again, and then once you do that, you'll see these three little cubes pop up somewhere on your screen, and the whole premise of Tile Frenzy is you shoot one cube, and the cube that you just shot will somewhere randomly appear in the room, 
and so each time you shoot a cube it'll just move to another spot and basically you want to shoot as many as you can in a 30 second time frame if this is your first time playing tile frenzy then just go super slow make sure you hit every single one of your shots don't worry about going fast just yet don't worry about the scoring or anything like that i'll get into that in just a second for now for at least the first 30 seconds just go slow make sure you hit every single one of your shots now once you start feeling a little bit more comfortable with the mechanics and how everything works definitely start picking up the pace how the scoring works is that for every cube you shoot you get one point however it also tracks how many shots you miss so at the end of the 30 seconds it'll take your total shots hit divided by the total number of shots that you took and then multiply that percentage by the number of shots that you actually hit so if you're anything like me then you'll probably just try to go super hard sometimes and end up missing half the shots that were just easy and should have hit and we'll just end up restarting the challenge so that's totally fine so yeah that's about it for tile frenzy um it's definitely helped me out a lot and i hope it helps you out too this is the exercise that i warm up with so whenever i open up kovacs it's definitely the one that i slide into first um i think my high score is around 104 so if you beat that then you're a real gamer and uh yeah i apologize if i wasn't hitting every single square in the making of this video i recorded it at around 4 a.m and i really don't think that my gamer eyes we're fully in check, but I'll make sure that next time they are. All right, so the next exercise that we have got is called pressure aiming seven targets. Now for this exercise, it pretty much just throws seven balloons at you from different angles and different distances and different speeds. So it kind of just keeps you on your toes. Basically, this game is not only fantastic for improving your aim, but also for improving your game time decision making. Now this exercise has helped me out tremendously in that department. So basically how this exercise works is that as a balloon moves closer and closer to you, it gets bigger and bigger and is obviously easier to hit. However, if you miss the balloon for some reason or you just don't even see it and it's out of the corner of your eye or something and it does hit you, you will actually lose points. Um, however, it can bounce off of you. So if you kind of want to be like me and just shoot it and get that extra point and just kind of get revenge on the son of a bitch that hit you, you can totally do that. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of annoying because sometimes you'll be looking at one corner and just won't even see the balloon in the bottom right corner of your eye. You don't even see it because it's hidden by your gun and you just get hit by it and it kind of sucks. Because sometimes you'll just be on a fucking roll, just, just murdering balloons left and right. And then one little menace will just pop out of the corner and just fuck up your entire mojo. <laughs> So the way that scoring works in this exercise is kind of similar to Tile Frenzy in the sense that it still keeps track of how many shots you hit and how many shots you actually take in total and gives you that percentage and does that whole thing. However, like I said a second ago, it still counts how many times you get hit and now you can lose points based off that amount. So the more times you get hit, the more points you lose in the end. So now you get two minutes to shoot as many balloons as you can, hit as many shots as you can, but also avoid hitting as many balloons as you can as well. All right, now we are down to the final exercise and luckily it's just like the last one we did. Basically, it's the exact same thing except now it's called pressure aiming 10 targets. So now you have three more balloons on your screen coming at you from every angle at all times. And let me tell you, this one is much more difficult. So once you start out with the seven balloons, it might seem pretty fast for you. You know, you might want to uh, really master that, take the time to hit every single balloon, make sure you're not missing anything, get a super high score. Uh, try to beat what mine was. I think I put it on the screen earlier, about like 9,000 or something like that on the seven balloons. Um, but definitely just trying to beat your high score every single time you do it. And then once you feel pretty damn comfortable with it, move on to the 10. And let me tell you, the 10 is definitely a doozy. Um, it's definitely not easy. Um, it's still difficult for me. Some days I'll just be on target and hit like everything. Other days I will just fucking miss everything and it sucks. Um, you kind of just have to be locked in whenever you do it. That is the last exercise I finish on and I pretty much just do it until I beat my high score every time or come damn close to it. Just so I know that whenever I go into Destiny or whatever game I'm playing, I am like feeling confident with my aim 100% and I'm feeling ready to roll. So... This is definitely my favorite exercise of all the three. I think it's been the most rewarding for me personally, and I really hope it helps you out too. It's got the same exact scoring as the other ones. 
um, really just the only thing different here is it's gonna be harder uh, faster and more difficult for you and harder to master so definitely do whatever you can to do your best on this and try to beat your high score every time all right guys that about does it for me and which exercises i like to do in kovacs the most and which i do pretty much every single day before i start playing really any game so if you want to take it one step further you can look up your own game in the search bar and i know some games have their own map designs in here some of their own levels all that kind of stuff the gameplay I'm showing right now is of me messing around on this one map. It's called like Destiny 2 Hand Cannon and Sniper Practice or Sniper Aim or something like that. I just searched up Destiny 2 in the search bar and found it. So personally, I don't really like it that much. I kind of like the ones I showed you a lot more. The more simpler ones kind of do it for me. So yeah, there are quite literally thousands and thousands of levels and exercises that you can do to get better. So if the three that I showed you today weren't making the cut and you weren't really liking them that much, do not be afraid to look up some levels on your own time and find which ones work for you the most. All right, guys, that just about does it. So if you are still watching this video, you know, 14 plus minutes in, I really just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time out of your day to just watch my video you know i really do appreciate it and i also really really do hope that it helped you i hope you enjoyed it and if you did it would mean the absolute world to me if you dropped a like down below and subscribe to the channel but other than that that's the end of the video guys and uh yeah maybe i'll catch you in the next one